Come here. Um, hello, 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 hello. Go on, try again. Up here, come on. Up, 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 up here, jump up here. Yeah, up here, up here, jump here, come here. He loves his bacon sizzles, that dog. Absolutely loves them. Um, right, so, uh, hold on, I'm hang on here a second. Let's sort this out. That's better. I felt like I was sliding off the counts there when I clearly I'm not. Um, as I continue to uh, focus on the soundtrack of, of my life, I'm going to talk about um, a song which was actually the um, the theme song for a TV program from 1968. And Potentially, it may be the greatest theme song for any TV program ever. That's my personal opinion. I, with the, uh, with the benefit of YouTube, and thank God a lot of these theme tunes of captures, I can transport myself back to the mid 60s when I was only six and seven uh, or eight, and. Um, when I hear these songs and these theme tunes, I'm straight back. If you care to look at the comments on the on the, the, the video I'll put up, you just read those comments. They absolutely, you know, uh, uh, express what, what, what I mean. Literally, certain songs just take you back. You know, in, in my case, it takes me back like, what, um, 54 years. It's incredible. So basically, White Horses uh, was on a Saturday morning. But then children's TV. In fact, back then there was only three channels. There's ITV, BBC One and BBC Two. And uh, BBC Two only came on at 12 and finished at like 8. Um, and uh, ITV only come later on and then finished earlier in the, uh, in the evening, like maybe 10, 11. And then BBC One, that was the same thing, that they used to like wrap up at 11 o'clock at night. And then you had uh, the, the, this dot used to appear. <laughs> also, the screen disappeared. So it was just a dot. And then sometimes you heard the national anthem. And on BBC Two, they had um, when they weren't broadcasting, they had something called the uh, the test card, which showed this girl with this sort of puppet. And you turned it on, and you thought, oh well, and that's what it was like. You know, the kids today, they wouldn't believe you. They wouldn't believe you when you tell them that. And uh, they wouldn't believe you to tell you that your TV wasn't even in colour. No, our TV, I can't even mind how big it was, I mean the size of the screen, but it was, it was in black and white and it sat on four legs if I remember rightly, and um, it was in black and white, there was no remote, so if you wanted to change between the, the, the three channels, which didn't happen that all often to be honest with you, you actually had to get off your arse and walk across the room and, and push this channel in, press this button, and of course if it was too loud or too low, same thing, you got up and turned it, turned it off you know um, and maybe that's why there are the, the people that maybe were more fit in those days because there, there's <laughs> there's there's more getting up from the couch sort of stuff we weren't like couch potatoes just remote going bam 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 so back then um there were very few programs um uh, that wasn't like channels just dedicated to kids but the only set of programs that were purely dedicated to children was a saturday morning on bbc one uh, therefore, that most of us who grew up in the in the sixties and, and uh, the early seventies, mostly the, the the mid sixties, late sixties, you watched on a Saturday morning a whole plethora of different programs. Most of them were in black and white, um, and we didn't know any difference because all most of us only had black and white TVs. You know, you'd see old uh, Ealing comedies, and you used to see like Lauren Hardy, um, people like that, uh, Robinson Crusoe, Flash Gordon. The banana splits, um, all the Jerry Anderson um, programs. I just I, I I sort of remember Supercar, but everything after that, uh, Stingray, Fireball, Little Five, and of course the wonderful Thunderbirds. And I actually watched Thunderbirds um, with my son, saying, "I grew up on Thunderbirds. You'll watch it." And we watched it in colour this time. The bigger bigger TV's go, Dad. I can just see strings because, funny enough, um, when I watched Thunderbirds uh, back in the sixties, when it was in black and white in the smaller TV, I don't remember seeing the strings. But now, of course, when you see them, it's it's it's, it's pretty obvious. But it doesn't take away from the fact from uh, the actual models for Thunderbirds were absolutely amazing. So, um, White Horses. Apparently, it was filmed originally in, in Yugoslavia, something like that. Uh, it came over to Britain. It's filmed like 66, 67, like maybe 13 episodes, not a lot. 
came over to Britain in 1968. It was overdubbed in English, like also Robinson Crusoe was, and what a theme tune, uh, a theme song from Robinson Crusoe. I might go back to it another day. And um, uh, I, that, that song has just stuck in my head all the time. As soon as I hear it, boom, I'm back to 1968. It got um, released as, as a single by someone called Jackie Lee. And I only, only found out today when I looked in the comments relating to the video, which is, I'll have the link for, for the theme tune, that Jackie Lee actually sung the theme tune to another program that I used to watch called Rupert the Bear. I never, ever knew that. Amazing. Um, so anyway, I'm going to leave this leave this song with you. If you care to read the comments uh, on the, the, the video as you watch it, you'll see why this song means a lot uh, to people my age. It does, it, it does, to be honest with you, take me back to a, a more innocent time, uh, certainly in my life. And I just think these days, I think kids just grow up too quickly. Um, and back then I think you stayed a child longer. It's a more innocent age for me, innocent time. And I just don't think kids are allowed to be kids anymore. I think they're just, you know, unfortunately they've got too much access to, I don't know, adult programs or adult material. Leading children's program are just like, um, there's too many adult themes in this. I don't, I, I don't think children are allowed to be the, the people that they, that they sh there should be anymore, sadly. And the good thing is, of course, back in, when I was growing up was that um, you couldn't record anything you couldn't stream anything so all of us after watching these programs would maybe talk about them on the Monday at school what you'd seen on the Saturdays like um, Scooby-Doo or, or what have you and as a result we we all have a, a shared collective memory of these but there are a lot of programs these days because they're streamed you know you, you you even say to your friends have you seen so and so no what's that and you're thinking that's what's happening there's so much stuff on the tv now that you may watch something you think it's absolutely brilliant you speak to somebody else and they haven't got a clue what you're talking about because there's just too much on the uh, that you can stream and watch nowadays but then it was limited and as a result for anybody my age uh will probably, if there was a kid on a Saturday morning, they will remember this programme. And uh, so for those who uh, want to get taken back to 1968, 69 and 70, um, this is for you. White Horses by Jackie Lee. Um, enjoy it. And if you've never heard it before, enjoy it even more. Right, uh, I'm going to go because this little boy here, say hello to, say go, Diggle, do you want to go for, play, find the ball? He wants to uh, play the ball. In fact, his feet are wet. You're soaking, man. Anyway, see you later. Bye-bye.